I'm Alice. I'm a big animal lover. And these are some of my pets. Golda, my cat Miller, and my service dog, Mitzi. And Mitzi is going to show you how excited she gets when I tell her we're going for a ride in a pet cab. And after that, she and I are going to demonstrate for you how easy it is to put your pet into a pet cab. Do you want to get in your pet cab? Do you want to get in your pet cab? Look! This is your pet cab. Do you want to get in it? Yes! Come on! Come on up here! Come on up here! Okay. Minnie! Do you want to go for a ride in your pet cab? Do you want to go for a ride in your pet cab? Do you want to go for a ride in your pet cab? You want to go for a ride in your pet cab? Come on. Come on. You like this, right? Girl. Okay, we spread the pet cat out on the table with this indentation here going in the back so the dog can relieve itself if it has to and this this middle hole here goes toward the back as well and the front paws will go right in these front two holes. So we'll put Mitzi down and we'll put those two front paws in the front two holes and pick the pet cat up. And first thing we do is latch the zipper. And we pull the zipper closed about one to two inches. And then we put the rear, oh, she did it herself. We didn't even have to put the rear legs into the pet cab. She did that herself. You can see there's an overlap here, an extra piece of fabric that goes under the zipper so the hair doesn't get caught in the zipper. And the pet cab closes with a zipper closure, not a Velcro closure, which makes it very superior to a Velcro closure because the dog is much more secure in the pet cab. We take the hook and put it through both loops in the front and both loops in the back. Make sure it goes through both loops, not just one. And that took all of a few seconds. The dog is now secure in the pet cab. If you're going to wear it over your shoulder, well, I like to wear it cross shoulder. So I adjust the shoulder strap. If your dog is a service dog or requires some other form of ID, you can hook it right here on the loop. And the dog goes right over my shoulder and is ready to go. I have done this on many, many dogs most of which are not my own, most of which have never met me before. It's never taken more than a few seconds. I've never had a dog resist. Let me show you how to convert it into a leash and harness if you want to walk your dog so your dog can do his business or her business. You simply unhook the back two loops and adjust the strap to make a handle for yourself and you can walk your dog. It takes just a second or two. Then when you're ready to pick your dog back up again, you just take the hook, hook it back into two, not one of the two loops. Make sure you get both loops, that's very important. Adjust the strap back to the length you like it at. And pick your dog right back up again. And you're ready to go. It looks like Miller the cat is ready to go in a pet cab.